My name is Frank Mattingly, and I'm a car guy. I've been hanging around Porsches and Corvettes for most of my life. And I really like these early 911 cars. They're the after car to the original Porsches, which were the 356s, that were designed by Ferdinand Porsche. His son, uh, Butsy Porsche, came up with the idea of the 911 in 1959 because he wanted a, a faster, more comfortable, a little bit larger car, and a car that could compete a little bit better on the track. These cars have been made, were, were first introduced in 1963 at the Frankfurt Auto, Auto Show, and came out in production in September of 1964. Cars have been made for the last 50 years, and there's been over 820,000 911s built to date. And this car sits behind me, it's car number 554, which makes it a really interesting low serial number car. Cars had four owners. We know the complete history on the car. It's a long time ownership by a doctor in Potomac, Maryland. And the car was pretty much back in the Washington, D.C. area its whole life. Uh, for, from 1974, until 2004, the car pretty much sat in, in barns. And so it was really a barn find when it was found by my friend, who was a, a gentleman that I went to the Naval Academy with. And he's had the car for the last 10 years. Another thing that we really liked about this car when we found it was that it had the original paint on it. And when I mean original paint, I'm talking about from one quarter panel to the next, to the door, to the front quarter panel, to the hood, to the left quarter panel, all the way around the car, the, mat, the, the paint matched. And that told me that this was, you know, a complete survivor car that had never been touched. These cars over the last couple of years have really shot up in value. Again, I think it's because the 911 has been in production for over 50 years now. And the earliest cars are, they're probably the prettiest in a lot of ways and probably the sexiest in a lot of ways and they're the simplest. These cars were $6,500 new in 1965. And today, these cars in mint condition are bringing anywhere from $300,000 to $450,000, depending on what type of restoration it's had done to it, uh, what, type, what type of history it has, and what type of prominence it has. This car, we know the complete history on, it has all matching numbers. You know, we were at the, uh, the Concord here recently in uh, Dana Point and uh, we, we, we did witness a, a 65, it was a much higher serial number than this one. And uh, I think they were asking 375,000 for that car. And uh, nice car, but silver is really probably one of the best colors. And uh, again, being a much, much lower serial number, that serial number I believe was in the 2200 range. This one is 500 range. The car is currently at Blue Chip Motor Cars, which is a longtime automotive collector car business here in San Juan Capistrano. And they're known for doing high quality uh, restoration work. And this is a car that's going to go through an extensive restoration.